5-0, and trying to win 10 straight games. They're at home against division leaders in the NFC. Tony Dungy's old team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, Joseph Adai was out, Marvin Harrison was out, five regulars, Colts out. So what? They got plenty of other regulars. Peyton Manning to Dallas Clark, near a first down. Third and six, Manning. Boy, Clark can really do some damage. That's a first down on a third and six. And then watch this little screen to Clark, and then whoop, breaks a tackle, and whoop, breaks a tackle in the end zone. And the Colts, right out of the gates, lead it by the count of 7-0 there in business. Now, no Joseph Adai. Making his first start is Kenton Keith. Touchdown, extra point blocked, but the Colts lead it 13-0. Keith is a Dominic Rhodes type, maybe even a, a hitting the hole even a little quicker, a little more of a slash. Now, speaking of slash, Tenard Jackson nails Clark here. Listen. It's one of those rookies on Tampa's defense. Yeah, but a perfectly legal hit. He led with the shoulder. The arm came through in on an ill step right there, a little misstep on the mad face mass of Clark. But he would get back up and he would return to the game. He would return later. Meanwhile, why don't we try the next play? Oh, he's hurt. Why don't I look for Reggie Wayne? But no, this is Denard Jackson having a, a great two plays. Knocks down Clark, makes the pick, and goes all the way inside the 25-yard line. There was a penalty to negate some of the return of the Bucks in position for Jeff Garcia to roll it to Alex Smith maybe we have a game it's 13-7 16-7 Colts at the half but now they've scored again make it 23-7 and Kenton Keith he hits the hole quick we don't know much about him but we do know that he would end up with 121 yards Tom well all of these runners know how to get downhill you make your cut you get downhill get the yardage that you can don't be afraid to take a hit. by the way he's from New Mexico State. There you go. Manning to Stately Wayne Manor. Reggie Wayne, it's a touchdown on third and goal. Look at the move on Philip Buchanan. Oh, uh, go out, out, lean out, come back in. So the Indianapolis Colts head into their bye week at 5-0 and as they crush the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 33-14. Just a few left from Tony Dungy's days with Tampa Bay. Defensive coordinator Monty Kiffin and Derek Brooks and Rondé Barber and Brian Kelly and then on IR Mike Allstott. But Tony had to enjoy this win.